Uh, how did Deuces come together? Deuces came together. Um, he was doing, in my zone, did well. So yeah. he wanted to click up with Car uh, Tiger. He was a fan of him. He felt like he had buzz popping at the time. He wanted to link up with him and do a um, joint album. So he hit me for that, and they were in Virginia again. So it's going to be round two again. I sent them those records, and I said, guess what? I'm an artist. I'm going to send you my stuff. So I sent them my single, which was Deuces. You know, he was uh, like, so that, oh, was your, that was your yeah, song? it was my song. Ah. It was a separate package from the whole thing. It's like, here's your 10 songs on, guess what? Listen to this in the car. He was listening to it the whole week. And he's like, nah, I'm, I need that song. I need that song. <laughs> okay. I was like, no, I need to come out. I'm an artist. I'm not a producer. I'm not a writer. That's, I'm not a writer or a producer. I'm just me. And I give away a lot of my stuff. So that's how I became a writer. Mm -hmm. You know, so... He begged me for another week when I was out there. We had finished all the songs we were going to do. He's like, no, nah, I need deuces. I was like, I need that. And he's like, well, you can stay on it. I was like, you got it. Okay. And then that's how deuces came out. And which part of deuces is your part? Is the, all the, of it. All of well, but I mean, but Chris and uh, Tiger. I, I sling the last verse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and it's funny with deuces because that's why I got coined a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm purely a singer. Rapping is just singing lyrics without melodies to me so it's all poetry and i'm a writer so um since i had to since chris did the singing parts i only had the rap part left okay so that's how i got coined a rapper you know when that happens was it a little bit bittersweet was it like well damn i i put together this this hit record but it was supposed to be my hit record, you know. I mean, but not it's Chris one, Brown, so you can only be so mad. But it's, you know, what I'm saying, like, not for one second. It always felt better if it was just me and Chris Brown. I don't think the record would be as good. I hmm. think it's the whole shebang. I think it's us three, and just it was what was meant. And I never got jealous of either one of them. I always wanted the best for both of them, and I hope they wanted that for me. Did the money start coming in right around this time? I still, I didn't get any money. And that's when my frustration started coming in. I, the I Deuces was a, a mixtape, yeah. well, off, off a mixtape. Yeah. But it came out as a single. It did. Okay. But it took a long, a long time for the money matriculate in. I think a lot of people don't realize They that. don't realize that. You yeah. can have a hit, and unless this artist is just giving you an advance, which he didn't, yeah. you know. I mean, he doesn't have to. <laughs> he doesn't have to. It's Chris Brown, yeah. 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 I would, but everybody doesn't think like me. Everybody isn't fair like me. Business isn't fair because business is, isn't of a... Uh, whole people so i understand that and um but it did make me a little frustrated when the money wasn't coming in they kept spelling my name wrong on <laughs> when it was played they'll cut my verses off on the radio yeah but i still didn't let that get to me i still stood there and said you know what i'm me and i'm gonna continue to make hits deuces came out but then there's a bunch of other stuff that started to come out at right. this point didn't know bs came out yeah um and then I had my first taste of little, you know, success going on tour with him a little bit, just, you know, doing deuces and this and that. But when it was time for, like, Strip to come out, our relationship started fading a little bit. And um, I wasn't seeing him as much for whatever reason. I wasn't in as much sessions. There was a lot of more people coming into sessions, and I don't just gel with all types of spirits like that. Yeah. I'm a very um, real person, and a lot of people can't take that. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people around him was fake-ass niggas. I didn't want to fuck him up, so... I just wouldn't be around, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who I'm talking to. And uh, <laughs> so I just didn't want to be around, so it kind of made a little, I don't know, tough guy stuff between me and Chris. And I remember when Strip came out. Um, and Strip, what, what, you wrote that? Yeah, Strip was another song, kind of came together just like Deuces. And Strip was one of those things, that I think it was just supposed to just be fun. Um, it started doing really well. I remember Chris kind of feeling like, oh, well, I don't want people to start thinking me and Tiger a group. I don't want people to start thinking me and you a group. I want to do my own thing. Ego, whatever you want to call it, he wanted to do his own thing. So he didn't really want Strip to just... But the label was like, hey, we're missing money. You got to make a video out of this. So that's how I was in the Strip video. Okay. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have been in it. I mean, were you being offered <laughs> publishing deals and stuff like that during this time? I did a publishing deal through Chris. I didn't understand any of that. So okay. Everything was through Chris, and that's why what I was trying to get to is once me and his relationship kind of got funny, he kind of, you know, the business and stuff was all held up and messed up. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I was able to work around that because no man can 
that's what people don't understand. No man can. Yeah, I mean, if you keep producing, you, know, you keep creating new stuff. So I didn't let people in my ears, and that's the problem too. A lot of negative people would try to say things about him, and I'd defend him to them. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's my little bro. Even if I agree with what they're saying, get the fuck out of here. That's my little bro. Yeah. You, you can't be by me. You're not helping the situation get better. You know, so I decided to just push through that and just, just try to show him what a real nigga is. Like, you know, I haven't really talked to him in two years. That's obvious, you know. Um, haven't worked on any of his new projects. That's obvious. You can hear our sounds. Um, and that's no shade. I'm just saying you can hear that it's not us. Yeah. And a lot of the people, it was funny, a lot of people that worked on his album, if I may just be honest, were people that worked on my album that I was going to put out with RCA um, mm -hmm. before, you know, me and Chris kind of fell out with his camp. And a lot of stuff was happening in his life, and I just didn't want to be a part of that. You know? well, at what point did the RCA deal come together? Um, it's funny, like, what people never realize about my um, career this far is I've never been a signed artist. I've never put out music as a signed artist. Okay. Everything's been on mixtapes, and it just kind of works like that. Yeah. Um, RCA came about after Strip, and I started wanting to do my artist thing, and they kind of just were doing a favor for Chris, you know what I mean? Hmm. Um, and it came at a time where all the labels were consolidating and falling yep. apart and going into Sony. So yep. it was at a time where I really didn't have Everything was messed up, you know, and I'm glad it didn't work out because now I have a brand new start. And so, so you're no longer part of RCA? No. Okay. And, and I'll get to how that happened um, how'd that happen? in a sec. Um, so I supposedly had this deal with RIA. I was like, why won't they, like, put out something that I'm officially signed to them on the website? Hmm. They never did it. So I was like, okay, I'm not really signed to y'all. Y'all don't really. But you had paperwork. Not really. You know not what I'm really. saying? Not really. It was some funny stuff going on. You know what I mean? Okay. And like I said before, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a green guy who don't know. That's why it's important to be protected, you know? Yeah. And um, I don't know. It's just I didn't see them doing a lot of work for me. Um, I didn't feel a lot of I wasn't being treated fair. And a lot of bad things were happening. A lot of blackmailing was trying to occur and so stuff like how? that. Just stuff I don't really want to talk about because okay. I have to, like, hurt somebody. Okay. <laughs> and I'm really with that. I, people know that. Like, I don't want to hurt anybody. But okay. I don't like that. But um, the the important point is that it didn't work. I'm here today. And I, I got myself out of the deal because I went to Australia. And what happened was I presented a whole album to RCA. And they said, basically, Kevin, you suck. This is whack, da, da, da. And I'm like... You don't know anything. They wanted me to be this image, this thug, this, that, and that. I'm not being a thug. I'm being Kevin. I'm not being any image you want me to be. I'm only going to be real. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, was, they were just playing around with a bunch of stuff and taking my money from my budget and using it on producers, and I don't need that because I am a producer. Sure. They'll spend all my budget on one producer. Like, yeah. stealing money, just, you know, playing games with the boy, with the wrong nigga. And um, I... I, I I had to keep it real because me and Chris had fell out and his manager had told me some things he had said and I, I kept it. I kept record of it. And I didn't tell him for a long time. I've been around him the whole time. You talking about Boo? Chris Brown. No, no, but his manager. His Boo? manager. He, he, he knows who I'm talking about okay. and the world knows. I don't even speak, or speak the name because they don't get glory from my mouth. Okay. God bless them though. Um, and it was like, you know, he said, don't work on your project. He said, shut it down, this and that. Said a bunch of stuff that'll make me hate the nigga, but I still didn't do it. I still was around him. Still like we're gonna figure it out. You know, I'm gonna see what kind of person you are. You don't know, I know, but I know. And um, I kept that with me, and I think that was a bad thing. I think I should have spoke to him about it, and things would have got better. Cause it, cause it might not have been true. It might not have been true. Exactly. You know, you know how information starts. Right. Like, so. You know, or, or the whole thing. You know, maybe you've been. It was true, but there was more it pieces was all just to, the, some, yeah. to the... It was just all to mess up everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I'm glad he's not with that person today. Um, I, I'm glad that he's going to... I see a bright future ahead for him. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so moving forward, after getting that info and just kind of holding it in my spirit and not saying nothing, I went to Australia. They flew me out there to do a tour for Superfest. And being there, just seeing the love and seeing that I was lied to, and I wasn't inadequate, and it's just okay to be you. I was like Drake over there. I was like, what the fuck? 
people like me. Yeah, I mean, I've, as a DJ, I toured in Australia. And you feel me? If you're American, you're 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 Jay Z. Like you don't right. <laughs> like like right. it's so far. There's so few people go over there that it's like yeah, it's right. crazy. But that's though. good though. Yeah, that's it's a good thing. You are Jay Z. Yeah. That's what people don't realize. <laughs> you are Jay Z. Even if America don't realize it, you are Jay Z. Yeah, you are the best. Fuck what everybody else think, because somebody in Africa probably like you. Right. So I was turned up off of that, and I was like, mad that I've been lied to and hurt so many times and had this false sense of loyalty. I was trying to show loyalty to somebody who wasn't loyal to me. So I turned up on them. I called people, when I see you, this and that, whoop, whoop, da 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 That's not the right way to handle business. But if you don't have a lawyer and you're from the east side, hey. So I got out of my deal. 